Welcome to the first presentation of the Music Awards virtually at Erlon High School. I'd like to thank our District Supervisor of Music, Ms. Lopez, and our high school teachers, Mr. Avedon, Mr. Gerisi, and Ms. Finkelstein. I'd like to shout out a couple of middle school teachers as well, Mr. Zeinberg and Ms. Caravano. I have seen each of these teachers work so wonderfully with our musicians. They hone their skills to such a point that we get beautiful music at the concerts and performances that we enjoy. Technology allows us to share these awards with you in this format. And to that end, I'd like to particularly point out Ms. Finkelstein and also our instructional technology coach, Dr. Baptiste Bosco. Each of them have been instrumental pun intended, in bringing about this new format of communication. I'd like to thank all of the teachers and instructors that have worked with these musicians over the years, whether they be through private lessons, in-school lessons, or classes. I don't know a sharp from a flat, but they do. And you can see the product that it creates. It is wonderful to work with a seasoned professional. You see by example what is possible, and our musicians have emulated that. You have seen it as a community. You have seen it as families. Our family groups are led by outstanding leadership through our friends in music. Ms. Deal, Ms. Tofino, and all the parents that truly roll up their sleeves and work so very hard to ensure that our musicians have everything that they need to succeed. They truly do go above and beyond. They're passionate, they're outstanding, and just a lot of fun to work with. And to all of our families, you know, having a musician in the house, as I'm starting to learn with my little kids, is not always the easiest thing. Because when it starts out, it doesn't sound very much like music. But by the time it gets to this point, it truly is beautiful. And it must really be gratifying to hear your children play and to see what they can produce now as they're in high school and even to their point of upper class and senior years. And speaking of our seniors in particularly, the stars of the show. This class of 2020 was robbed. You had a lot to look forward to we were all looking forward to it together. The spring season of concerts and competitions, performances, the musical, all of which are such a source of pride for us at Fairlawn High School and for our entire community. These musicians and performers are great ambassadors for us. Over the history of this high school, they have created some of the most memorable events that anyone can recall. All of that was taken from us by the coronavirus. We mourn that loss, but we also recognize the gift that these seniors are giving to us and will continue to give to us. The class of 2020 is always going to be looked to as leaders, as the cutting edge as the vanguard moving forward. These particular seniors have the gift of music. Throughout human history, music has had the role of inspiring, the role of reflecting, and the role of truly showing the soul of a society. It is these seniors that are going to carry that spirit forward. It is these seniors that are going to share their gift with all of us. I want you to know that I feel so very proud to be standing before you and giving this speech. I truly love all of the music and performing arts here at Fairlawn High School. And it's certainly the least that we could do 
to bring this video together and to present this to our musical and performing arts family. Because it is all about family. We talk about that all the time. It's a family that's formed out of all of these activities of common purpose, common goals, and a shared passion for music. Don't ever lose that passion. Take it with you wherever you go. Thank you so very much. Enjoy the show. I wish you and your families the very best of health, and I'll see you again soon. Hello, I'm Mr. Gerisi, and I'm here to announce the two recipients of the Performing Arts Award. The first recipient of the Performing Arts Award is Samantha Fox. The next recipient of the Performing Arts Award for Fairlawn High School is Michael Tokar. Some, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. Populism, yeah, yeah. This is the age of, this is the age of, this is the age of Jackson. Mr. Gerisi, and I'm here to announce the two recipients of the Vocal Music Award. The first recipient of Vocal Music is Alondra Uriati. 525,600 minutes, 525,000 moments, oh dear, 525,600. The second recipient of the Vocal Music Award is Mahi Pasakar. Hello, Mr. Gerisi, and I'm here to announce the two recipients of the Musical Theater Award for Fairlawn High School. The first recipient of the Musical Theater Award is Julia Morrison. Greasy, and I'm here to announce the next winner of the Musical Theater Award. The Musical Theater Award goes to Zoe Polikoff. Can't do it alone. Then she. In what was it for this country? The farms and the blood of God. This student is personally one of the most well rounded musicians I have ever met. Not only has this student been the viola section leader, for the past two years of the Fairlawn High School Orchestra, he's also been the viola section leader in Fairlawn High School Honors Orchestra, as well as being involved in the Fairlawn Indoor Percussion, Fairlawn High School Symphonic Band, the Fairlawn Choir, and the Fairlawn Marching Band. This student also works incredibly hard. He's gotten so much better at viola since I started working with him two years ago. The student is also incredibly reliable, always eager to conduct the orchestra or tune the orchestra whenever it was required of him. I know this student will go on to do amazing things in the music world, but we will miss his fun and his sense of commitment while he's away in college. I'm very proud and I'm honored to present all three orchestra awards, the National School Music Award, the Instrumentalist Musicianship Award, and the Instrumentalist Merit Award to Noah Ben Nunn.
This young man has been a powerful and ubiquitous force in our music program over the last four years. Having been a member and leader of virtually every ensemble that we have to offer at Fairlawn High School, from leading our tuba section to leading the orchestra's viola section to, um, to being a member of the chorus and the indoor percussion and the marching band. Um, but beyond that, he is a compelling jazz vibraphonist with an incredible future ahead of him. And he possesses an amazing understanding of music theory. And that is why I present the award of Music Theory Excellence to Noah Ben Nun. This young lady has been such a dedicated and wonderful member of our music program over the last four years. She's added so much to the sounds of our wind ensemble and our symphonic band and our marching program. And that is why I present the Instrumentalist Merit Award to Julia Rios. This young man entered Fairlawn High School as a freshman, starting a new instrument, um, not having been a member of the band before. And uh, he entered as a clarinet player and uh, he hit the ground running and was really, really into it, working so hard. And his curiosity took him into other areas, took him over to the brass family of instruments. And he has become one of the finest trumpet players uh, we've had at Fairlawn High School during my tenure here. And he became equally interested, if not more interested, in the drums. And he has become an incredibly talented and skilled jazz drummer. Um, he's such a loyal and wonderful young man. And it gives me great pleasure to present the Instrumentalist Musicianship Award to Aria Bali. <laughs> This young man is a masterful percussionist, playing multiple percussion instruments, and quite frankly, the best high school tippinist I've ever heard. But beyond that, as a jazz drummer, he has added so much to our jazz band and our jazz program over the years, not to mention what he's uh, added to the marching program. I mean, he's, he's really a powerful and important force in this music program. And it gives me great pleasure to present the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award to Justin Labette. This young lady has brought such a high level of musicianship to our wind ensemble over the last four years, having led our flute section for three of those four years, and has brought such a tremendously positive attitude into the band room day after day, year after year. In addition to her incredible skills at the flute, she is an amazingly gifted and skilled dancer with a very bright future in front of her as a professional dancer. And it gives me great pleasure to present the Patrick S. Gilmore Award to Alicia Gabsey. This young man is without question one of the very finest musicians that Fairlawn has ever produced, having proven himself to be the, the best clarinet player in the state of New Jersey, but doing so much and being so dedicated to our program here at Fairlawn High School. And his dedication and commitment to our program 
has never wavered. Gives me great pleasure to present the John Philip Sousa Award to Daniel Ketter. When this student joined the marching band, he started an instrument that he had never played before. In fact, I don't believe he played in band at all before he joined the marching band at Fairlawn High School. And it is pretty amazing the skill level and talent level that this student was able to achieve on their instrument over the course of four years in Fairlawn High School. And not only that, but they were able to take up other instruments and also achieve very successful levels on those instruments. They were an integral member to both the marching band and the indoor percussion and had gained not only great skill in playing, but also great leadership and compassion and was a great person as far as caring about the experience that not only themselves had, but the rest of the students. They were instrumental in everything we did in both marching band and indoor percussion. And we are greatly enhanced to have had them in our ensembles. It is my pleasure to give the National Marching Band Award to Aria Bali. <laughs>